I need you to tell me what we saw because I don't want to put anything into your head. And she went, I told you and I'm telling you again, the car went through a truck. Hello, and welcome to Out of the Ordinary, where I have interesting conversations with people that have experienced something different, something unique. Today's conversation is with somebody that witnessed what I can only really describe as a ghost truck. This was a really fun conversation for me to have. These are the kind of stories I really like to hear from people that witness them themselves. But before we do get started, I would like to take a second and thank my Patreon supporters. It really means a lot to me, and I really do appreciate it. And if anyone else is looking to support the channel in this way, link is down in the description. Again, thank you. Now, another thing before we jump into this one is I'd like to apologize for the quality of the, the recording on this side. Um, the conversation was fantastic, and I had a blast with it. But I had some snafus with my webcam, and so my webcam for the duration of this conversation is tiny and way up in the corner. <laughs> and the audio quality that I recorded from this conversation was also not really up to the standard that I would like to maintain for the future. So my apologies for that one. I really do hope that you can hear our guest very, very well. And uh, hopefully everything comes through because, again, this was a really fun one. So thank you. Enjoy. So to start us off, um, why don't you go ahead and just walk us through the beginning, how this happened, and uh, what your experience was. Okay, so um, this was two years ago. Okay. So in England, southwest England to be specific. Hmm. Um, a lot of rural farms, a lot of wavy roads, you know. Um, Sounds nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I had a workplace accident, so I had to go okay. to our um, closest emergency room. Um, they sent me then to the nearest hospital. Okay. Now, that's nearly like an hour and a half away. You know, it depends how Oof. busy the roads are, you know. I had a really bad concussion. I had mm. back injury. Um, oh, jeez. It wasn't pleasant. Yeah, I was in there for a few days. Um, so that's just kind of how I got further away from home, mm -hmm. you know, and I mentioned the concussion because I've told people in the past a story and immediately it's, you had a concussion and you know, yeah. I've, you I've know, had pretty... plenty of concussions in my day and, oh yeah, you see some gnarly <sighs> stuff, you know? Yeah. It, it so... makes you self doubt a lot of things, which is one of the hardest parts for it about me. Yeah. 100% and what's weird is I remember this happening clear as day mm. but at one point um, my memory loss was so bad that I got diagnosed with persistent concussion syndrome Wow! so even today sometimes I'll I'll forget something mm. or I'll go to meet someone and I'll completely forget their name I I so know that memories. feeling exactly yeah yep yeah. you know what I mean so to explain this to someone who hasn't had a concussion, they immediately just think, oh, you know. It's all just, head. yeah. Oh, yeah. You had a head injury. Yeah. It was all fake. Yeah. Of course. That's... But um, that's also why I mentioned that I wasn't the only one who witnessed it. And mm -hmm. I'm also, I didn't bring it up at the time. In my Reddit story, right. I mentioned that I didn't actually say, did you see a ghost truck? Right. You know, I didn't. I didn't you didn't bring up I the subject. I yeah. I didn't want to, you know, put any huh. ideas in my mum's head, you know? Yeah. To see if she would confirm. So, um, anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. So, just to explain what happened, um, we were in a grey car. I'm mentioning colours just because I'm colourblind as well. Okay. So... You know, I don't know whether that's going to even mean anything, but I'm just mentioning everything. You know, it's easier yeah. just to not leave anything out. So we were in a grey car. We had a red car behind us. Mm -hmm. um, in the UK, we drive on the left side as well. So I'm sorry if it's... It's fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. So no, no, that's okay. We drive on the left side. Yep. So just, just to like a visual, I guess. Um... Yeah, it was a straight road, so 
we didn't think anything of this guy trying to pass by, you know, it's a straight road, it's not going to be, there's not going to be an accident, right. you know, because there was nothing coming towards us, so we thought, okay, it's fine, he can take over, he clearly has somewhere to be, you know, hmm. um, red car goes around us, and his headlights were on, because it was quite late at night, as I mentioned in the story, um, and just as he went past us, it was like he lit up a hologram. That's the only Whoa. way I can explain it. Huh. That's the only way I can explain it. And it was a truck. A big truck. Like a... How would... How would you describe... You say it looked like a like a hologram. Could you see through it? Could you see maybe I silhouettes on the other side honestly, of it? or? You're either going to laugh or you're going to understand completely. The mm. best way I can give you a visual is a hologram at the Haunted Mansion at Disney. It's blue. Mm. It's kind of smoky. But it's still yeah. there. You can clearly see what it is. Holy cow. That, that's the best way I can describe it, you know? Yeah. And I've, I've been through like pictures of sightings and things like that to try and mm. find something. And I came across... An image from that ride and i was like okay well the color matches the opaqueness like the smokiness of it and it's yeah. just like a hologram that's the only way i can describe it a hologram wow which is crazy did you i know it's probably all really fast too so asking yeah, for various really details and things well, but which, you did know. you notice any did the truck have its headlights on did the if it did, the, did you notice any of the light reflecting from the um, headlights? No, it all seemed one color. Okay. One shade. Huh. Obviously, there was shading of, like, where certain parts of the, uh, what do you call it, if, uh, a bumper? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm <laughs> trying to make this as, like, um, so, obviously, where the bumper is and the, mm -hmm. the window, there's shading. But as far as colors go, it didn't have any markings, colors, or it was all green slash blue colored. Huh. And the lights, where the headlights would have been, um, hmm. they were just, they didn't look like they were on or off. They were just there, you know? They were just there, yeah. Was the... There wasn't any reflection of the car going towards it either. Wow. It literally went through through it as if there was just nothing there and the car was passing normally react. exactly in the red car if if i'd have gone through a hologram or, or You're right anything an apparition or whatever the hell i saw yeah i'd have swerved i'd have break the brakes yep have maybe sped up and yeah they didn't react they did nothing they just carried on went round us and went like nothing happened wow it was so weird did anything uh, anything else about the truck stand out? Was it like a is it like a certain style of a, truck? Older, newer? So I didn't see a driver. I know that for a certain. I did not see a driver. Wow. Whether that's because of the window or because mm. I wasn't paying attention because I was like shocked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's I thought, fair. I honestly thought there was going to be an accident. I I took a deep breath in. I and mm -hmm. I kind of covered half my face. You know, I was yeah. ready for something to happen. Yeah. I was shocked. It probably would have been like a 12 wheeler truck. It was a big wow. truck. Wow. Like, okay. Like that Holy carries cow. like oil tanks or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, like an oil. Truck like the or. huge ones, yeah. It wasn't a delivery van, you know, that you see mm. groceries delivered in and stuff. It wasn't a postal van. It wasn't a delivery van. You know, it was wow. a truck. A truck. And, and I didn't specify that in my Reddit post because I wasn't... Again, you know, I'm English. I'm not quite sure how the Americans word things, but... That's fair. <laughs> um, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure how you would have took truck. As mm. in van, truck, I, car, you know. Yeah, you, typically if you say different... truck, they think of like uh, yeah. like, a, like an 18-wheeler or something bigger. Exactly. Hauling so freight, that kind of thing. kind of... Yeah. I'm glad that got through instead of just a little postal van, you know? Yeah, that's but, fair. Um, it was a big truck. I, I had wow. to, when I was looking at what was happening, I kind of looked up 
Jeez. It's, you know, we, it's quite, it's higher than a, than yeah. a car. And you, you mentioned you gave a reaction, you know, sharp inhale, covering up your face, which I, I know that feeling of like, the, oh, oh, something's yeah. about to happen. Shit's about to go down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even more so because it made me jump because we're, yeah. we've got our eyes on the road. Nothing was coming on the right side towards us. So hmm. when you see a car overtake and suddenly there's a, there's something there, whether yeah. it's a truck or an animal or, you know, you're going to, oh yeah. my God. Yeah, especially when it's right there in front of you at late at night when you're focusing. I don't know if you have yeah. how much of an issue wild animals are getting into the road, but here we have deer all over the place. Yeah. And so you're always well, yeah. you're waiting for that yeah. deer head to pop out or a deer just to jump out. you got to be ready any second. So something yeah, quick I mean, happening is just um, jolting. It's it's not as bad here with larger animals like that. Hmm. But because I'm in, I was in the southwest, um, we have a lot of cows, sheep. Oh yeah. Animals, yeah, yeah. Um, we're surrounded by farms. There was a farm either side, like fields, mm -hmm. as well. So we were looking for animals. Yeah. So we knew there was nothing coming either way because we're constantly looking for farm animals, you know, wow. or tractors. And you mentioned Anything, we're looking for tractors, you know. Yeah, you mentioned that your mom was driving. Did she react in the same way that you did, or similar? Did she have that um, that quick white knuckle honest, moment? I didn't look at her while it was happening because Fair. I was like, and, and, you know, I was looking at yeah. what was happening. I was waiting to see what was going to happen. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear her react. I didn't hear it. Okay. But then again, she's not a very vocal person. Okay. So when she gets scared, she doesn't scream. She kind of tenses. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's but one if, of those. Yep. If, I, if you're watching a horror movie, she, she won't scream or anything. She'll just hold a pillow or something or okay. hide behind her blanket. You know? okay. So she's not a very vocal person. So at the time, it didn't seem weird to me. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously, so, when I looked over after, it's when it had fully gone through whatever it had gone through and was in front of us now going up the road as if nothing happened, I looked over and obviously <laughs> her, her knuckles were white. On the wheel and her eyes were just so wide. I was like, oh my god, she must have saw it. When it was did... at that point I knew that she must have saw something or felt something. Right. How did you approach that? Did you, like you said, you kind of, you asked what did yeah. you see, but you didn't necessarily drop so, what you think you saw. So how did you approach so that? I was, yeah, I was silent for a couple of seconds, kind of trying to think what the hell just happened. Yeah. I was going to yeah. swear then, but I don't know if you allow swearing. So what? Yeah, the you go for it. Yeah. You know? Oh, what the fuck happened? <laughs> what just happened? Um, and I just kind of looked at her, saw that she was holding onto the steering wheel tight, mm. saw her eyes, and I said, "Did you just see that?" <laughs> exactly like that. I just said, "What? <laughs> did you just see that?" And she didn't even look at me. She was still looking at the road, and she said, "That car just went through a truck." <laughs> Oh, crap. And I was like, <laughs> there's no way that she could have even got that from me because I didn't mention anything about a truck or a car. Right. I just said, did you see that? That could have meant anything. Yeah, it could have been a weird cow on the side of the road. Which is why I mentioned Jeez. it like that because I didn't want to put it into my head, you know? Yeah. I know the the mindset. I know the, the headspace of being really concussed. And like yeah, I said, there's yeah. at least for me, there's a lot of self-doubt that comes through and so in seeing yeah. something like that and then having the other person confirm that's what just happened oh which is shit. what made it for me that's what made it not just a hallucination that made it a natural mm. encounter because for yeah. her to verify what i saw it blew my mind did you two ever have that conversation of like going into detail and describing it back and forth what was that like what yeah um it was a couple of days after because I still okay. had a concussion. I had to rest. I had to. That's my fair. Back was still hurting and stuff. So I pretty yeah. much spent the next few days in my room just recovering. You okay. Know? Um, I was still really sick from the concussion as well, so nauseous yeah. and you yeah. know the feeling. So it was a few days after, and um, I was actually my grandma lived with us as well. Okay. So. My grandma lived with us and my grandma was asking how I was and um, I hadn't spoke to her about what actually happened up until that point because I was recovering and I didn't want to, you know, I was just chilling.
Yeah. So just trying to get like, back to normal. Yeah. Um, how was the hospital? Was the wait long? You know, what did they say? Hmm. Any updates? And we were just talking about that. And then all of a sudden I was like, we haven't talked about what the hell actually happened on the way home. <laughs> and my mum was in the room and I, and I said to my mum, you do remember what happened on the way home? <laughs> and, and she went, yeah, yeah, I know. And that alone was like, <laughs> Okay. Does she actually, or is she just saying that? Yeah. And I, I asked her the same thing again. I said, "What did we see? <laughs> what, I need you to tell me what we saw because I don't want to put anything into your head." And she went, "I told you, and I'm telling you again. The car went through a truck." <laughs> and she said it as if I was like a kid. You know, she's like, "I told you." Holy cow! Like, oh. And it was Man. just like, my grandma doesn't swear. Hmm. at all and she sat there she went what the bloody hell do you mean <laughs> she was confused because no one had told her yeah and now all of a sudden she's hearing about a bloody ghost truck you know holy crap <laughs> it's Oof. so unreal to me and it it wasn't just that time we spoke about it after that as well hmm. with you know other people so it's not just a one-off thing. And I didn't imagine having the conversation because my concussion, you know. Right. Um, my husband as well. My husband heard the story from her, not from me. Hmm. And he came to me one day and he went, I've just been uh, talking to your mum because they had a coffee together or whatever. And he went, yeah. uh, what's this about a truck? <laughs> and I hadn't mentioned it to him because... You know, yeah. He, we were long distance as well. Mm, he that's hard, Spain yeah. At the time, I was living in England, so at the time I was recovering, and things were just so hectic, and yeah, I just hadn't mentioned it. You know, I didn't think that I had to, and then yeah. about six months later, he was like, "What? Why didn't you tell me about a truck?" You know, <laughs> he was so confused, but yeah. Jeez. Do you ever just kind of do you have that thought in the back of your head while you're? driving later at night of where is that thing like what what happens if you see it again like what <laughs> oh yeah especially now wow. I've moved because I live in Spain now okay um once again I'm surrounded by farm so I pretty much just <laughs> across the water and I'm back where I've begun you know there's still scary <laughs> trucks around but even if I see a truck on the road in daylight I'm like Ooh. I can kind of <laughs> I yeah. kind of cringe a little bit, wow. but um, at night especially, I'm very antsy about it. I just yeah, I don't blame you. If I if I see headlights from an actual car coming towards me, I'll kind of like look to make sure <laughs> the headlights are here and not up here, kind of thing. I'm like paranoid about trucks, man. Jeez, it sounds like kind of an out there out there kind of question, but this is yeah, this no, is where my no, head goes. Go uh, in the states, yeah. we have certain roads where trucks can't go due to like weight limits and things yeah. like that yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, is that one of those roads by chance because that would that be it's just a yeah that would be just the cherry on top where this is like a no access for trucks kind of road no no it was okay it was a you know it was a normal road um hmm. both ways both lanes were open everything was fine okay um, it's not ab- it's not abnormal to see trucks on that road okay um, the road itself is a bit creepy, but apart from that, it's... Nothing unusual, you know, eh? Well, thank you very much for sharing that. that that's welcome. That's a good proper creepy one. I like that. It's Dang. creepy to even speak about, because at the back of my head, I'm like... <laughs> I, see? I think yeah. I think not knowing is creepier than knowing, I think. So. Yeah, I could agree with that. And the the concussion yeah. tossed on top of that, there's a there's always that lingering self doubt for me at least. And so oh yeah, hundred percent. Well, thank yeah. you very much. We'll uh, we'll close you it off for there. Fun.